The study abroad program is part of why I chose Syracuse in the first place, and Strasburg was one of the places that they made it really easy for me to do that as an engineering major. I love the city. Honestly, one of my favorite things is just how easy it is to get around. It's really like an amalgamation of just like all different cultures coming together. It's a lot like an urban city, but there's also a relaxing aspect of it that if you just want to, you know, take take a stroll around the, uh, the nearby rivers. It, the architecture is just beautiful to walk around, um, to go walk in the city, um, get something to eat with your friends. Petit France center of the city dates back to 13, 1400s, but then like as you go out, you can see how the, the city has expanded through the different centuries, and now we have all these major institutions like um, European Parliament, Council of Europe, INSA. When students come to study in Strasbourg, they really get a broader European perspective. The city is right here at the heart of Europe and you can get to anywhere. This is a diplomatic hub of Europe. Lawmakers from all across Europe come. Syracuse does a very good job of making sure we stay on track as engineers, even when we're studying abroad. I'm taking almost all my courses that I need to take this sophomore year, uh, which is amazing because uh, that means there's no disruptions in my four-year plan. Yeah, that's one of the best things about this program is that you, you don't have to sacrifice anything as an engineer. For me, I'm taking Physics 2 and Electrical Engineering at INSA. It's the National Institute of Applied Science. I mean, it, it is really cool how you get to see your major done a different way, and it's eye-opening. You know there's a whole other world out there, but you don't actually experience it until you're actually there. That's one of the things that makes this Syracuse experience great. All the classes are taught in English. It's a good mix because you also get to um, study here with your people you're uh, friends with and people who you're comfortable with, but also get pushed out of your comfort zone a little going to a French university. You don't have to speak French to study in Strasbourg. There's no language requirement, but I always say you have to want to learn. Okay. And so you can have a wonderful opportunity, take French classes, live with a host family, and really learn a language in an everyday context. I feel that we're getting the full experience working with the professors and, you know, being in classes with other French students. Well, if you're looking for somewhere that, you know, offers full immersion into their city, I would say this is the place to go because you really have a lot of opportunities to just experience the local culture, the food, but it's also a great location to explore more of Europe. Strasbourg is the most cosmopolitan international city I know. You have not only French students, German students, but students from all around the world. Every day you can hear different languages being spoken in the streets of Strasbourg. When you walk around, it has everything that you could possibly want. Everything is close to you at this point. There's uh, Italy, Switzerland, there's Germany, there's everything you want to travel to. If you like to do that, it's here for you. It is just very worth it. Not only helpful in your education, but just such a different perspective on the world.